Time now for our big board with our team of insiders standing by with more of today's top stories. And first up, we have a warning for women in Georgia, upsetting video that shows a man filming up a woman's skirt in a grocery store in a state appeals court ruling that it is not against the law. On Sonny Hostin, our senior legal correspondent joins us live. And Sonny, very simple question. How can this be legal? Isn't that something? I mean, this behavior is reprehensible. It's nasty. It's just downright creepy. But because of a loophole in Georgia law, it is legal in Georgia. Get this, Michael. The law in Georgia prohibits recording activities without consent in a private place and out of public view. So the court here ruled that because it happened in a grocery store, it didn't happen in a private place. So in Georgia, under my skirt, no, is not private. No. So are they going to do anything to change that? Is the legislature working on this? No question about it. I mean, it typically, it typically takes, uh, takes Lara a high-profile case like this to make the law change. And so my guess is the Georgia legislature is going to change this with a quickness, and many other states have begun to change it. Right here where I'm sitting in New York, it is a felony to film under my skirt. So I think we're going to see real change in Georgia very, very quickly. All right, so good. So our legal system is doing something to keep up with technology, Sonny? It's trying. I mean, the wheels of justice sometimes turn a little slowly, and it's very difficult to catch up with the fast pace of technology, but we are getting there. We've gotten there in Washington. We've gotten there in Hawaii. We've gotten there in Florida. Like I said, right here in New York, it's a felony to do this kind of behavior. So certainly, Georgia is going to catch up, and a lot of other states are going to catch up, too. Well, All those right. wheels need to turn a little faster. Yeah, come on, wheels. Big wheels keep on turning. Yeah, that's, right. that's a little crazy. All right, Sonny, thank you so much. We want to turn now to the Amazon hack attack. This Texas woman reporting to Amazon. A hacker broke into her account, draining it of $1,700. She then changed her password, and the hacker broke in again. How does this happen? We're asking Robert Herjavec, star of Shark Tank and author of You Don't Have to Be a Shark. He's joining us right now. And Robert, I know you founded Herjavec Group. It's a cybersecurity firm. This hacker actually sent the woman threatening notes to stop canceling her fraudulent orders. Here's what she said. We're going to play a soundbite. Canceling my orders. I mean, he was using everything of this is my account now. Your account has been hacked. These are my um, purchases. This is my 1.6K uh, balance. And quit canceling. Amazon will take care of you. Just let it be. Wow. And Amazon did refund her money. But, Robert, how vulnerable are we to hackers? Well, Laura, today being online is like modern dating. You need protection. Spyware, <laughs> key loggers, malware, everybody's at risk. Look at the Democrats. They got mailed. The average consumer is at an all-time risk. And, and I'm, I'm surprised at the, the arrogance of the, of the hacker. And Robert, yeah. we reached out to Amazon for a comment, and they said if a customer experiences any issue with their account, our team will work directly with the customer to resolve the matter. But how can you protect yourself and your Amazon accounts or any other accounts that you have out there without depending on that company? Well, Amazon's great, and a lot of companies will help you, but you got to help yourself. I always say, number one, use two-factor authentication, a good password and a PIN. Change your password often, Michael. And then the third one is clear your cache. You can actually go into your browser and clear all the stuff that's on there from before. Everybody should do that. All right. Everybody needs protection. Good advice. Thanks, Robert. I need another password. <laughs> all right. Um, thanks, Robert. Now to the U.S. men's basketball team playing an exhibition game against China. They're gearing up for the Rio Olympics, but NBA superstars LeBron James and Steph Curry, they will not be a part of the U.S. Olympic team. And, but three-time NBA champion and an ESPN analyst Bruce Bow Bowen joins us with more. Now, Bruce, good question. Without Steph, without LeBron, without Chris Paul, without James Harden, can this team still win the gold? Do they have enough talent? Absolutely, they have enough talent. Come on, Michael. This team played China <laughs> twice and held them to 57 points. So one game they win by 49, next game they win by 50. Come on, you got to give them credit. This is a young team, but it's a team that still have stars of the game today. Yeah. You have Carmelo Anthony going for a third gold medal. You have 
Kevin Durant, who is an MVP and a leading scorer in the NBA. Then you have champions in Draymond Green and Klay Thompson, as well as Kyrie Irving, who yes. understands the value of like playing Kyrie. at high-level <laughs> basketball at the highest level in the NBA. I am with you, Bruce. I want to. going yes. I, I, I just really like Kyrie. All right, so remember '92, Michael Jordan, <laughs> Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. How does this team stack up? It does not stack up to that team. Those are greats. <laughs> Those are guys that are part of the 50 greatest players in the NBA. Now, we're going to have other greats in the NBA, but we're going to say this group, some of those players will be on the next 50. So you can't compare these two teams because when you do that, it's a disservice to the current team. We must support our current team. We must do the dance. We must believe. I believe. I believe. I, I right. believe that we, we will win. I believe that we will win. <laughs> Bruce, I tell you, when you talk it's like listen to Muhammad Ali sometimes you get fired up and ready to fight but we're curious mm. Sonny and Robert what do you think USA and with the gold medal in basketball in the Olympics oh no question well, about well, it USA no. is gonna well, get the gold I, hang on hang on Team USA looks Who great, said, hey, but why are we not talking about Team Croatia? Why are we not talking about Team um, Croatia? We're, we're, we're done the with the big board, Robert. You just ruined world. the whole moment. <laughs> because we don't live in Croatia. We live That's in right. the great USA. What? <laughs> Bruce, I'm team with you. Croatia. Bring on the champ, Bruce. And Maybe I, Croatia in second place, Robert, that's but right. not the team USA. We're bringing home the gold. That's uh, what we're going to do. Support, I'm feeling support, good about support. It. All right, we want to say thank you to all of our panelists, Bruce, Robert, Sonny.